Welcome to another video. Today we will be cleaning my primary mirror. The reason I decided to make a video about it is because there is a lot of bad advice on YouTube. So we need to mark where the screws are so that when we put it back it ends up in the same place with the same screws. So let's get to it. And if you feel that cleaning the primary mirror is complicated, it is not. This is the first time I'm doing it and you will see that it's very, very simple. Now time to remove the primary mirror. There we have it, not that complicated. Wow. So let's take it to the sink and check it out. So as we can see, there is quite a bit of dust here. So time to remove the clumps and finally wash the mirror. So we need to take a mark of exactly where it is in comparison to the current clumps. As you can see, the clumps should be a little bit loose and there should be just enough space to fit a sheet of paper. Okay, time to take it out and clean it. So what we're going to do now is simply put the mirror into the dishwasher, close the dishwasher and use this program 70 degrees Celsius and in three hours we should have ourselves a clean mirror. Okay, three hours later let's check our mirror and there we have ourselves a perfectly clean mirror. Serious? I'm joking, of course. What we will do is use this cup with holes on the bottom, and first we will do a rough rinse, and then I've generated a lot of distilled water for the final rinse. Here we can see my distilled water generator. Quite simple really, it costs only about $1,000 or you can buy a bottle of distilled water for 5 bucks. Time to use the water we have generated. There we have it, that's some perfectly distilled water. What we want to do now is use our fingers for a very, very gentle rinsing of the surface. In this way, if there are any specks of dust, we can feel them with our fingers and we can avoid scratching the surface. This is where most people get this wrong. Do not ever use cotton swabs to do that. Here, for example, I felt a small speck of dust and it felt like a big stone. So I had to stop my finger. Had I used a cotton swab, I would not have felt that and I might have scratched the mirror. Keep in mind that the coatings of telescope mirrors are at the top of the mirror, so it can be relatively easy to scratch it. As 
this again, put some soap. And I think we have perfectly clean mirror. Now all we have to do is rinse it a lot of times with distilled water. It's important to note that this is cold air being blown. Time to put the mirror back. Now we can use a piece of paper between the clamp and the rubber hitting the mirror to give us a little bit of empty space. If you do this too tight, the mirror would be pinched and the image would suffer. So you want to do this between the metal plate at the top and the rubber at the bottom. This way you don't have to touch the mirror at all. And there we have ourselves a perfectly clean mirror. Now the question is, should you do it or not? A, you should definitely do it for one simple reason. If some insect takes a crap on your mirror, which can happen very easily, this material will oxidize with your coatings and damage them over time. Another reason is this study, you can have a look at the link below, which clearly shows that you are losing reflectiveness every few months that you are using the mirror. Me personally, I'm doing it once per year, once I have generated enough distilled water over the summer. While we are at it, we may also have a look at the secondary mirror. Now for the secondary mirror, I will simply take out the entire spider, so then I don't have to re-collimate the secondary mirror, which is notoriously difficult to collimate. Now the secondary seems to be in a pretty good shape, so maybe just some blowing will do. I may not even need to wash it. Now since I already have the distilled butter, I just washed it a little bit with distilled butter, and I think it's a lot, lot better. And there we have one perfectly clean secondary mirror. Time to put it all together. There, the telescope is back in place. The great thing about it, I did not even need to collimate. That's all there is to it. First time washing the mirrors and everything is okay. Don't worry, just do it. Until next time, bye.